Hey guys, Beanie Jean here. So today we're going to make this awesome wooden headboard with a few items from Home Depot and a couple tips and tricks. I hope you guys enjoy and please comment, like, and subscribe for more DIYs. So let's jump right into it. I got a 30 by 48 inch canvas. So I got 10 of the quarter inch, two and a half inch, and they're both 36 long and then the thicker one is two a quarter inch as in um, thickness and then three and a half inches wide I chose a darker one in a lighter one because the goal is to have like a varied um, pattern if you want kind of a vintage look or if you just want it like just some variations you know don't want it all the same color but I mean you can do the same color if that's your preference so this is what we're going to use to put the wood pieces onto the canvas. Um, the wood pieces are thin, they're not heavy at all, um, so that'll be fine for that. If you have the time, you could also use a handsaw, um, but we need to hurry up and get this started. So, we're going to use the power tool. This is the saw that we borrowed from a friend. Do we know how to use it? It should be self-explanatory. Don't try this at home. Get a professional. But, uh... Today we profess. I made sure to get enough boards um, at various widths so that once placed next to each other, the boards will be the same width as the canvas. So in other words, five two and a half inch and five three and a half inch are the same width. As the so my mom's so graciously cutting like some tester pieces. This is essentially what it'll come down to. Just fitting those random pieces together. Um, and we planned on having it hang off three inches on each side, um, just for some dimension. So when we put it on the wall, I don't know. It'll kind of look like it's floating. To trying to arrange the pieces um, we tried to make so once you put the stain on it it's gonna come out all these like little I guess you could call it imperfections but oddities are gonna come out like this wavy pattern will be there um, some of the grain and some of the what do they call knots so you want those to come through um, just to give it some authenticity so we basically sat here and played puzzle pieces on um how we wanted them to fit. And so we're about to put our last two pieces. So we measured them out and then marked it and we'll cut it right there. And then we'll be done with the arranging part. So we're on to the staining process. Where are we set up? this This is the Jacobin side, and then we have the early American, and then the mix in the middle. Um, so I think it will come out really nice. And then of course you can like mix the two if you want like a medium tone, because this one is really light, and this one is really dark. Um, but the headboard itself should come out great. All right. <laughs> Our light 
light and dark colors and then mix them in a cup to get like a medium shade, which actually did work. So this is what it's looking like so far. Here's the mixed in between shade. Um, and then so if we wanted it a darker color, um, like this piece, we put the stain on there and then just let it soak. I don't even, we didn't even wipe it off at all. But then for some of the lighter dark pieces, like this one, um, we put the stain on there and then wiped it off quickly. Um, so it, would, it couldn't soak in as much. This one came out really nice. You can see the grain in there. Um, so yeah, so it's coming along. So our final step after painting all of our stains, as you can see, they came out really nice. Um, we have some blue colors. You can see the grain on the different pieces of wood. Uh, some of our little mix from our sledgehammer come out. So it turned out really good. Um, so the next step is just to put it on the canvas and glue it down. Um, with this, we painted it with the stain, which actually looks really cool and this would definitely be an awesome actual painting to like hang on the wall. So we might have to save this idea for later. <laughs> but um, yeah, we used the darkest wood stain. Of course it comes up lighter on this. And we just use that. So that way when we put the wood on the canvas, any like spaces or if you can see anything on the sides, um, it'll blend in well. After letting the canvas and the wood pieces dry for about 24 hours, um, we came back and then we used our E6000 glue to glue down the wood pieces onto the canvas. Um, we had to make sure to put something underneath the canvas so that the actual cloth would be touching the wood pieces so the glue could adhere. Um, so we used just household items for that part, but then we let that dry for another 24 hours. Alrighty, that is all for our wooden DIY. I hope you guys enjoyed and could use some of the tips that were given. If you guys end up trying this out, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to see your work. Thanks for watching Beanie Jean, and always remember, you might as well smile.